Welcome to Softlake Education. Today we will see some of the solutions of Telangana Set 2018 Computer Science Question Paper. See the question number 45. It is saying about that consider the following statements related to the compiler constructions. He has given the two statements. Statement 1 is about the lexical analyzer and the statement 2 is related to the syntax analyzer. Okay. So as you know that in a compiler constructions we have the six phases of the compilers. The six phases are the lexical analyzer, syntax analyzer, semantic analyzer, intermediate code generations, code optimization and target code generators are there. So among these six phases, the first two phases are the lexical analyzer and the syntax analyzer. So here in the first statement, uh, it is about the lexical analyzer. He is saying that lexical analyzer is specified by the context free grammar and implemented by the Postman automata. It is a false statement because of uh, lexical analyzer cannot be specified by the context free grammar. Actually, in the place of lexical, the syntax analyzer, if it is syntax analyzer, then it is a right statement. Okay. So here the lexical analyzer is specified by the regular grammar and the regular grammar generates the regular language which can be accepted by the finite automata. So that the, here the statement 1 is a false statement. Now see the say statement 2. It is about the syntax analyzer. He is saying that Syntax analyzer is specified by the regular expression and implemented by the finite statement. It is also the false statement because of the syntax analyzer is not specified by the regular expression. It is specified by the context free grammar. See here in the second bullet saying that syntax analyzer is specified by the context free grammar and the context free grammar generates the context free language which can be accepted by the push down automata. So that here our answer is that these two statements are the four statements so that the option D is the right one that is a neither one nor two. See the next question, question number 46 is saying about that one of the purpose of using the intimate code in compilers is it is also, it is also the question related to the compiler construction paper. So he is asking about that what is the use of the IR code in a compiler. Okay. So see here in this one. In a compiler constructions, there are two ends are there. The first end is called as a front end and the second end is called as a the back end. The front end is also called as the machine independent, uh, is also called as the analysis part of a compiler and the back end is also called as a synthesis part of a compiler. The analysis part of a compiler contains the first three phases of a compiler construction. Actually, we have the six phases. Among the six phases, the first three phases are comes under the analysis part of a compiler. What are the first three phases? The lexical analyzer, the syntax analyzer and semantic analyzer. So that the name is given as that analysis part of a compiler. And and under the synthesis part of a compiler, so we have the last two phases that is the code optimization and target code generators. And if you observe that in between of these two oh, part of a compiler, we have a IR code. IR code is also called as the intermediate code. Okay. So see here, the analysis part is a machine independent part. Okay. And the synthesis part is a machine independent. The analysis part takes the source code as an input and generates the IR code. And this IR code is an input to the synthesis part of a compiler so which can generate the target code for the machine. And this IR code is nothing but it is a byte code in a Java. So in a byte code, what is a byte code here? Byte code means it's a code which can be run in any type of machine, in any platform of a machine. So that the uh, the byte code of the Windows machines can be run on the Unix platform. The Unix platform machine can be run on uh, the Linux operating system platform. So that so that the byte code is called as an the platform independent. In the same way here, the IR code is also called as an platform independent. It means that so in this machine machine one machine the uh, IR code of machine one can also be run in a machine two as well as the machine one IR code can also be run in a machine three right it means that the IR code of any machine can be run on the any other machines also because of this synthesis part of a compiler is depends on the machine but this IR code is not be depends on any type of platform it is uh, it is an independent of any platforms okay so that that is the one of the purpose one of the useful and next uses of ir code is that performs code optimization techniques such as common sub expression constant foldings so it is some of the optimization techniques these optimization techniques can be performed only on the ir code that is for example uh, we can reduce the lines of code or we can remove the uh, common 
the common lines of code from the IR code and we can perform the constant foldings so many of optimization techniques are there those optimization techniques can be applied on the intermediate code okay so that among the given the four options so here <clears throat> option number C is the right one increase the chances of reusing the machine independent optimizer in a other compilers so that here option number C is the right one 